Hi everyone, welcome to Chorus House. Today we're going to be threading uh, the DI2 through the frame using the Jaguar internal housing damper. Let's get on with it. So what we're going to be doing is using the internal housing damper. I've got enough of it here for about 20 bytes. Um, I'm going to be putting my DI2 inside the damper and then just threading it through the frame. So what I've done, I've got a piece ready here so you can see kind of what we're doing. Um, this is a 650 DI2 wire. I've just roughly measured off the damper and then just cut it into little bits and threaded it on the cable just so it's bendable yeah. and uh, just so it, it stops those rattles. So I'll show you how I do it. Get the damper, cover the connector, we'll just pull that and we want to cut it off about there. There we go and that is for that section. Okay we'll just cut it into four. One it's just roughly. There we go. So just thread it on. Goes on relatively easily. That's that one. And then we've got uh, this one. So approximately there and approximately there. All of that is covered. Okay, so we're all set. The lengths of uh, wire we've got is 650 for the battery. We've got a 200 length for the front derailleur. We've got 350, the wireless unit, and then a 250 to go from here and connect into the... We've got a 600 for the rear derailleur. And in the handlebars, we've got a 550 that connects them both and a 650 that connects to the charging port. So now we're going to thread them. Um, I probably have to put some damper on the side of this. Okay, so what I've ended up doing is just putting Basically just wrapping it and then a bit of insulation tape round. All right, let's start threading. So we'll go for the rear. The rear, yes. Remember we had problems with this one. So we're going to be using the Lifeline threading tool. This one seems to be okay. So what you do with this is it's got a magnet and it's also got, so it's got a little clip here where you can just pull that back through. But I'm not sure this damper is going to want to go through the hole, to be honest. Well, it did go in the end. Look, it's gone all the way. I'm quite impressed. So that's that bit threaded. Okay. Now we can put on the grommet. There we go. So the grommet's on there. This bit's here, which is cool. Okay, so the next bit we're gonna want to thread is going to be the battery. So we'll just feed it down. Feed it down. And there it is. That's actually pretty cool. So what we'll do now is we'll put the magnet on, we'll stick this in, go back up. There we go. Straight back out. I'm quite impressed so far. Two bits sticking out. Battery, rear derailleur. Yeah, that's pretty much stopping it from going back up now. So, okay, we've got three connections. This one on here, this one at the bottom, and this one in there. There we go, all connected. So I can stuff that in there. Okay, now we've got one more, and it's gonna go up to this. In there. Take that off. There she is. Attach our bit. Attach our little DR2 clip and pull it back up. Of course now we need to protect uh, this as well. So we're going to use the same principle. Bit of tape in there. All right. Yank on the end. It's here. Take it out. Connect her up. So we don't lose her. Right now. You see here that uh, this bit can just live up out the way in this section. 
and uh, the bottom bracket can go through the hole. Perfect. There's quite a lot of excess uh, cable there actually. I could have done with a shorter cable, but you don't want to go too short in case you've got to uh, got to do anything with it. So battery cable, I just got to stick it down so I don't lose it back inside the bike frame. So I won't lose that. Let's thread the rear brake cable. It's already got damp around it. Here's all the bits that we uh, have got to put with. So we're going to thread uh, the handlebar. So because Sorry. we're in the UK, this is the back brake here. And this is the front brake here. Okay, so we're going to have to thread our stuff through. Let's go. Let's crank it in. I'm not uh, convinced this is going to work. So we've got a new connection. It screws into the into here. Oh, oh, come on, there we go, it did work. So that is ready to be attached. So another one of the tools, the needle driver. So first of all, we've got to just clip off the bit that we screwed in. I reckon that much will make it a nice clean edge. Never used one of these before. So, plop the needle in, clamp it and squeeze it, I reckon. For a first try, that's not bad. I'm just gonna check, see if I've driven it home fully. Look at that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so, that bad boy, then an olive. I'm just going to put this in as far as I can go. Let's just pull, pull some, uh, some more cable through there. So, screw that up till it's home. There. Okay. So, the brick is on. That's that threaded. And um, that was interesting, uh, putting in all the dampener, but um, overall it didn't take too long. It probably took me, um, before I edit it, with all the mucking around, hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so that's today's episode. We've put in all the, all the wires with the dampener on. That was quite fun. Uh, a bit more time consuming than just threading the wires, but I thought I'd give it a bash. I've got loads of dampener, so I thought I'd give it a try. We've threaded the brake. That was a little bit more difficult than just feeding it by a wire, but I wanted to use the tool that I bought, especially for the job. Overall, that Lifeline cable feeder is okay. Free of frame, it's, it's uh, pretty good. Tight handlebars, it was okay, but we got there in the end. If you like the channel, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and like. That would be perfect. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye.